Good day. Good day. I'm Chris. And I'm Paul. And, oh, Paul, I've got something to show you. Is it safe for work? Yeah, it is safe for work. <laughs> it, is, it's, it is NNSFW, not not okay. safe for work. Not not safe for work. Yeah, so I had a, I had a message uh, the other day. Somebody messaged me and they were like, oh, look, this is probably like a really weird question, but I'm not creepy or nothing. Like, do you have a kid? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, you know, yeah. What is, what is, So I was like, yeah, I got a kid. And it's like, oh, cool. Basically, uh, they wanted to send me something to review. And I thought, like, all right. I wanted to show you and I think it matches in with this topic but you know I've always said like my only apprentice I'm going to have is my daughter she's going to be yeah. my, hopefully be my apprentice so I've been sent this Wicked yeah check this out it's called First Ink I'll show Paul first that's nice it's a tattoo that's machine that's good yeah and little I, wooden tattoo machine. Yeah, so uh, hopefully by the time she's old enough, she might be one of the fastest tattooists in the world. Fastest tattooist in the world, Chris. Surely yeah. that's not a thing, is it? Zero. Find out after the intro. You know what would be good, though? Just an idea for the guys making that wooden tattoo machine. Yeah. Right? Um, they should do a version where it's not built. So they should do like my first tattoo builder kit as well. So that like the, the little ones can build the tattoo machine and then play with it. Yeah, I think it's all glued together. They also got like a welcome uh, back as well. Coloring book as well. Or if you're really shit at drawing, flash. Oh yeah, tattoo flash. Yeah. Tattoo flash book. Anyway, so that's, uh, I just want to say thanks for sending me that. Um, first ink. I'll put a, I got a 10% discount code as well, so we'll pop that in below, and I'll give yeah. this to my daughter, and I'll let you guys know what she thinks of it in a different video. Anyway, so yeah, the fastest tattooist in the world. Is that a thing? Excuse the interruption, but before we go any further, I've got something I've got to tell you. This episode, like all episodes of That Tattoo Show, the podcast that me and Chris do, is brought to you with the help and assistance of some of our really good friends at Electrum Supply. So if you can, please do me and Chris a favour, head over to the Electrum Supply website, pick yourself up some stuff for your tattooing, and tell them Paul and Chris sent you. Who knows, they might even give you a discount. With that said, thanks Rob, thanks Electrum, back to the show. Well, do you know what, right? This, this actually stems, I'm not, I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want to call anyone out really, but I seen something the other day on TikTok and it was like somebody put a picture up and it was like, check out this sleeve. It was like, it wasn't a full wrapper, but it was like an outer arm black grey sleeve and they, they'd done it in like four and a half hours. And I like to think to myself, like, I'm fairly quick as a tattoo artist, right? But I can't fucking tattoo that quick. And every logical part of my brain just even before I completely analysed the shit out of this person's tattoos, every logical part of my brain was like, there is no physical way that you can do that much work that fast and it actually be any good. It's physically yeah. impossible. You know, you got to fucking, you know, you've got, something's got to give. If you're taking shortcuts, then you're going to be able to see it. So, like, you know, for example, like, the shading is going to be choppy as fuck when it heals. The line work's going to be wobbly, you know. You want crisp lines? In, in case you're not sure what we're talking about here, um, Sorry. maybe you're starting your, starting your journey of tattooing. Uh, you know, we're talking about speed over quality, you know, because I think Chris would agree with me when I say this, that the faster you go when you're tattooing, because tattooing is not, um, it's, it's not a race, right? No. Uh, the quicker you go as you're tattooing, the generally you're, you are sacrificing quality to get things done quickly. Yeah. So, you know, you can crank your machine right up. Um, you know, and I've I've been in this position before where I've actually started I've started a tattoo as they were starting to clean the convention down to close it for the evening, and I yeah. I literally just started doing. I was only doing like a twenty minute tattoo, right? But um, I, there's you become very aware that you've got to get it done in a particular time yeah. if you work in like a street shop and you're doing walk-ins then you know you don't want to be spending two hours on you know something this big you, you've got to get things done efficiently that's not necessarily sacrificing quality you just set you you get a setup that is efficient for yeah. what you're doing so you know speed generally equals you know more speed less quality less speed more quality Right, and what we're always trying to do is find the right balance between 
you know, that's way too yeah. slow, that's way too quick. And the truth of it is, I don't know how you feel about this, I don't think there is, uh, you know, the perfect speed for... for for all tattooists to do. I, look, like, I don't think you can say a black and grey rose takes three hours because it might take somebody 30 minutes and it might take somebody six fucking hours. But then you're going to have, like, different different quality to it. Exactly. But, yeah, but, you're going to have but, a different quality to but, it. But I think, like, when somebody is doing, you know, extreme... You know, when somebody's doing a tattoo that, say, would take me... I don't know, let's just say it would take me like seven sessions to do, and they do it, and that's like seven, six hour sessions, and they're doing that in four and a half hours. As somebody has been tattooing for probably like 15 years now, I think, something stupid like that, um, I am categorically will say that corners are going to be cut. The, the quality of the tattoo, it's going to look good from afar. You're going to have like this nice impact. Like you're going to yeah. look at it and be like, wow, that looks cool. But then upon clo- it's like looking at a car, right? I'm thinking from afar, I'm thinking that car's fucking really nice. That looks uh, like a Lamborghini. And then the closer yeah. you get to it, you realise it's a fucking Skoda that somebody strapped cardboard to and painted it with poster paint. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the yeah, closer yeah. you get, the more you inspect it, it you realise like this isn't actually that good. And I think like that sets a standard then. Or it's like, I, I think I've noticed this for a while. There's like a new standard of quality that's been set in tattooing where, you know, when I was into tattooing, Everybody wanted to get their black and grey as smooth, smooth as fuck, like Bob Terrell. You know, if you could get your black and grey work to look like Bob Terrell, you've 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 nailed black and grey. Now it's like everybody's just like four mil stroke, pepper shading. You you there's none of that kind of like smoothness. And I'm I'm not saying it, it doesn't look good. It's a, it's a nice texture to and if it's done well, but I think it sets a standard that people expect like. They don't. They don't expect a tattoo to be nice and smooth. Like Nipper does his black and grey super smooth. People will look at his work and be like, "Well, I can get it done down the road." And in their heads, it, it, they're like, "Well, it looks the same." But then, if you put them side by side, you'd be like, "That's choppy as fuck. That's smooth as fuck." So yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. Do you I, not think though that that is that that's like anything? It's just an answer to tattooing has been smooth and highly rendered and photographic for. What fifteen years or more now? Prob- mm. like, uh, definitely in the, la- the last ten years, tattooing has become more smoother and smoother and, and more photographic. We've also got to the point where um, some artists that I've seen, everything's smooth, and it's like you know, like so if they're rendering a, a, a photo realistic tree, they'll do it smooth, and I'm like, it's bark. It wouldn't be yeah, smooth, mate. Texture, so though. you do get to that kind of like everything starts to look like you know, 80s airbrushing where every single yeah. thing is well, smooth and faded and then we get bored of it as fans and as viewers and we go, I want a bit more texture in it. Or, and, and I think there's the move back to peppered shading is people going, this, this, not only does it look better, but it looks better in the skin when there's a little bit more attitude in the shading because... I agree, you, to, you, I agree to a certain extent, right? But I think what I'm trying to say is that there's pepper shading or stipple shading that's done well and then yep. there's stipple shading that people are doing just because they want to do fast. a large tattoo really really fast yeah and then and then this but, is this is where the laziness comes into it it's like you don't need to learn to do smooth tattooing anymore because what people do these days and i think the 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 boys that i work with they looked at this person's photographs and instantly they were like mm, looks like they got a bit of softening on there in post so it's like you've got yeah. somebody doing like these choppy as fuck tattoos, going in Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever, slap a filter on it that smooths it out. You don't need yeah. to. And then, then you're yeah, going yeah. on the avenue of false advertising and it's going to come mean, back the, and bite the, the thing that I would, The thing that I would always be concerned about with stuff like that, particularly because, you know, the, the stuff that you showed me is black and grey, and most of the stuff that I saw, that I, would, I wouldn't mind betting the dark values are in, the uh, so the black values and the darkest of the values are there, but as the values get lighter and lighter, most of what I was looking at was relying on redness to make the shades. Yes. And once that redness is gone, I wouldn't be worried about the black because the person the, I know, will can say, clearly tattoo very very I, well. I will you know. say I I I did screenshot the pictures. I popped them into Lightroom and I did adjust the levels and. Mm, debatable. It was a lot of patchiness to the black. E, come on, like. Well, this is, but this is the thing when you're covering the ground really quick. If you're trying to pack black solid, 
You know, you can't just fly over it like, no. like it's nothing because it doesn't work that way. You know, you've got to spend a little bit of time in the skin. Um, and if, you, if you're trying to get 30 hours of tattooing into three and a half hours, then you're going to have to make a load of compromises. Maybe yeah. they do a lot of second passes and stuff, you know? Oh, well, the, other, the other thing I was thinking of as well is, is the whole I did this in three hours or I did this in four hours maybe a little bit of a white lie and what they're actually doing is they've got that person in the chair for like, say, seven hours, but they're only counting... You know, you can measure your machine run time. So they're going, oh, yeah, well, yeah. my machine only ran for three and a half hours. So I did that time with three and a half hours when they actually did in, like, seven. I, I mean, I think, ultimately, why would you think it was an accolade to have, you know? Um, yeah, I'd rather, this, I'd rather this, do you a see, nice you've come, you've come to me for a full sleeve of a piece of permanent artwork that I will wear forever. Yeah, hour and a half, mate. <laughs> would, would, do you know what I mean? Like, it, like if, if you had somebody coming in to paint your building and, and they said, yeah, we'll slap it all up in 30 minutes, you'll be done, you'll be, you'll be open again by the afternoon... You'd be like, no, nah, mate, I want you to spend a bit more time because you'd be like, are you going to mask all the top off and make it all neat? No, 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 we'll just get up to it really quick. It'll be like when you stand back, it'll look all right from a distance. You'd, you wouldn't pick that paint, would you? You'd yeah. be like, no, nah, well, you know what, mate, you're all right. I, 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 a perfect example is like, I wouldn't be able to draw that picture, like, you know, one of those pictures at that scale in four and a half hours. With pro markers, yeah. with colouring pencils. So if you couldn't yeah. do it with like pro markers or colouring pencils, you know, you might be able to get away with doing it with paint. Paint's a little bit looser. I, I just ultimately question why it's even, you know, like best tattooist in my town, best tattooist in my shop, best tattooist in the world. I, I get how those things are like accolades. Fastest tattooist in the world. I mean, what good does that do anybody, really? You know, like, I yeah. don't. I mean, like, what's your catch line? I don't pay attention to anything I do. But, it's well, over it, so yeah. fast. I never, I never notice what I'm doing. I mean, it just seems, I don't know. For a permanent art form, that that's the kind of thing that you would do if you were doing graffiti on the side of a building and yeah. running away. Get, get it done in an hour and a half. But for something that some a person is going to wear for the rest of their life, do, does it re, really like do? You, does that person want it done in four and a half hours? Have they only got enough money to get it done in four and a half hours? Would well, you not be better off saying, but, well, get a better piece? Well, I would be smaller. Thing, though. Like, you know they, I mean? They're probably charging uh, a sleeve price, a price of a sleeve, just for a four and a half hour tile. You know, they, you, mm. I wouldn't do a fucking. If I could do a sleeve in four and a half hours, I wouldn't charge for four and a half hours. I would charge how much a sleeve costs. Oh, yeah, of course. So, you know, but. but there's loads of calls. I like, mean, it could be a little bit of the tattooist. Maybe their client base all want coverage and just where they are geographically and what they charge and the, and the client base. Maybe they're at a, at a place where people are coming in and wanting huge work for, you know, not a lot of money, done quickly, done as efficiently as possible. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've, you know, like... You know, back in the day, you know, Little Swastika did um, fucking five backs in, like, a couple of days, didn't they? You know what I mean? Like, all, like did the big five-back projects and everything. So mm. it's capable... No, he's capable of doing it. But again, yeah. I think there's a... There is a lot of sacrifice of quality there. You know what I mean? You yeah, sort of look I, at it and go, no, that this panel is the of black thing, is not actually black. Yeah, no, it's not. Like, and this is the thing. Like, I know somebody that's done a back piece in a weekend... And, you know, to do a back piece either in a weekend or in a day or whatever, right, when you actually look at the tattoo itself, there's fuck all detail to it, it's badly drawn, it's just large areas of flat shading, there's nothing to it, and it's like, you know, you it, again, it goes back to that, you're cutting corners to try and do this thing to wow people. Well, you people. are. Yeah, uh, but and, it's like... Maybe it's that, you know, it's one of the symptoms of trying to stand out on the internet or something like that, yeah. you know. I, I, everybody's got to have a unique selling point for their brand. I'm the fastest I can do a sleeve in 45 yeah. minutes. I'm I like, can do really I know, man. shit tattoos fast. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if I'd go as fast to say that I thought they shit. were really shit, but... I, 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 um, no, I'm joking, I am. Like, I'm, sure that, I'm sure if that tattoo is <laughs> doubled the amount of time they spent on that piece, they could double the quality oh, of it. Oh, fucking 100%. So, they're super talented. You know, That's the thing, like, they're a really talented artist, and if yeah. they spent more time, more time on the pieces... You know. The, I but would... they might, like I'm saying, they might have clients that just want mad coverage fast. You know, they might be like, I don't care if you've got to touch it up afterwards, but I want, I want my full sleeve done in a day. And 
maybe that's the, that then they have to go back in and smooth the shading out a bit in the second session. Maybe they just want coverage instantly. I mean, some like, people do, you know what I mean? It's mad. I, I, See, personally, like, I don't get it, but. I don't know. I, I tattooed a footballer. I think he played for Swansea or something, and he wanted his forearm, his entire forearm, wrist to elbow, done in one session. It was black and grey, right? I managed to do that in 12 hours, wrist to elbow. There was nowhere near as much shading or, like, you know, texture. It was all flat. It was, like, just doing a traditional half sleeve because he wanted yeah. coverage, like... And I was fucking flat out, non-stop. Yeah. I was just like, wow, big fucking mags. Yeah. I, so I was just saying, like, it's... it's I can't see how it can be done. <laughs> well, I mean, even if it can, like I, I'm not questioning about questioning whether it can be done. It should I'm questioning be done. whether you should do, yeah, should be done. The, right? I should really you shouldn't. not be approaching this permanent art form with a little bit more? Um, I don't want to use the word care because I, I, that in, that implies that the artist is careless, and I don't think they. I don't no, think no, these might... guys are. I just think they're in some kind of weird uh, race. Uh, for something that doesn't mean anything, it doesn't. Yeah. No, oh, I did that in four and a half hours. So like what? No I want to see what you could have done in fourteen hours. Like yeah. if you can do that in four and a half, then well, let's have a look at what you can do in fourteen. Can you imagine? Do you know what I mean? a, Yeah. Can you imagine going to a barber shop and they were like, "I cut you in two minutes." You'd be like, yeah. "Ooh, do I really want you cut me?" Yeah. Or if you go to a you go to a car garage and be like, "We've got a new range of cars. Each car was built in a day." You'd be questioning. Yeah. You'd be like, "Oh, is that car safe?" Yeah. Exactly. So, so there you go. Don't tattoo fast. Tattoo it's good. Not, it's That's not what good. we think. It's not clever. It's not a race. Uh, there's no prizes at the end. You don't get a sticker when you complete a sleeve in 20 minutes. You uh, just nobody get less turns money. up and goes, "Congratulations, <laughs> you're the fastest in the world. Welcome to the Tattoo Whoa! Olympics." Doesn't work that way. So with that, thank you very much for joining us on this Sunday morning. This has been episode number 54. Woohoo! Uh, so we're getting up there with this. It's mad we've done 54 episodes, like. I think we've actually done more, but we've, we've probably done five episode fives and six episode yeah. fours. And, I, like, I'm, my, I mean, I, I don't think our numbering system is exactly scientific, mate, to be honest with you. I, I'm trying to think, but, like, how many videos we've actually made, like, it's fucking... Easy answer, shitloads. And while yeah. he's working that out, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and all that nonsense that every bloody YouTuber asks you to do. Bing, bing, uh, bing. It does actually help the channel, believe it or not, do all of that, ringing bells and uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I've been Paul. I've been Chris. And this has been That Tattoo Show. We'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.